In this video, we will show you how to set up and use the Trust Studio Aviator, an AI-powered digital assistant designed to help developers build faster with OpenText Trust services. The Trust Studio Aviator is part of the Trust Studio VS Code extension pack, which contains a collection of extensions that support creating and deploying various information management artifacts or models from within Visual Studio Code. Before you proceed, make sure you have Visual Studio Code installed and have signed up for either the free trial or the paid subscription of Trust Services. In Visual Studio Code, click on Extensions in the activity bar on the left-hand side. Search for the OpenText Trust Studio Extension Pack in the Marketplace search box and click on Install. You will notice that one of the VS Code extensions in the Extension Pack is the Trust Studio Aviator. In the activity bar on the left-hand side, you will see two new options appear, one for OpenText Trust Studio and the other for the Aviator. Before you can use the Trust Studio and the Aviator, you will need to set up a profile for a developer organization that was created when you signed up for Trust Services. In the Trust Studio extension, click on the option to add a new organization profile. Fill in the fields for the developer organization and click Connect to get authenticated. You will be prompted to sign in to OpenText Connect with your developer username and password. Upon successful sign-in, your organization profile will have successfully authenticated. Next step in setting up the profile is to add the tenant information. Right-click on the organization and select Add Tenant. In the search bar on the top, you will be shown a list of tenants in your organization. Select the tenant you want to use. This will add the selected tenant to your organization profile. With the organization profile setup complete, it's time to try out the Trust Studio Aviator. Click on the Aviator icon in the activity bar on the left to open the Aviator Digital Assistant. If you prefer that the Digital Assistant appears on the right-hand side in VS Code, open the secondary sidebar and drag the Aviator icon from the activity bar to the right-hand side pane. The Aviator Digital Assistant uses the power of generative AI to provide answers to questions related to Trust services, as well as code samples that show you how to make the API calls. Let's look at a few examples of how Aviator responds to some of the questions. To start off, we'll ask Aviator to list all the APIs available under IAM services. You can ask Aviator questions about console administration, like how to create an app in the admin center, or how to reset your tenant password. Aviator also answers broader conceptual questions such as the difference between IAM services APIs and the core SaaS APIs. We will notice that each response includes a link to the source where you can go and read further information on the topic in question. You can use Aviator to inquire about specific services such as content metadata service, and even multiple related services in the same question for example, what are the CMS and CSS APIs and how are they linked? Aviator will also answer questions about the Trust Studio extension pack. Another useful feature of the Aviator is to request for code for the API calls, like creating a namespace from content metadata service using JavaScript. You can then select the Paste to Editor option to paste the generated code into your application. You can even request Aviator to use a specific library for the HTTP request, for example, asking Aviator to use Fetch. And finally, asking Aviator about deploying the application to your tenant in the OpenText Cloud. To learn more about Trust Studio VS Code Extension Pack and the Trust Studio Aviator Digital Assistant, you can visit developer.opentext.com. Thank you for watching this video.